phenomenon that has been well documented by Pro Mediation, a French NGO, that um, points to the fact that the possibility of terrorists engaging in mining activities um, in places such as dollar power is very high. You know, they need to fund their terrorist activities. And one of the ways they can do that is to engage in mining activities. And on several occasions, um, the security services have picked up a lot of foreigners engaged in illegal mining in the country. So this is surely something that the intelligence community should be looking at. And like I've always indicated, they cannot do it alone. They have to involve the locals in that process because they understand the settings. They know their people. There are communities in Ghana. You would go in, they look at your face and they are able to tell that you are from here or you are not from here. So if we don't find a way of merging national security with local security, there's always a bit of a dichotomy which would make it much more you know, difficult to achieve any security results on the ground. Well, I'm wondering on what basis are they being arrested? Because um, in Ghana we don't have an opinion, we don't have a policy towards Wagner. Countries such as Lithuania and Estonia have designated Wagner as international terrorist organizations. Um, the UK is on the verge of designating them also as an international terrorist organization. Indeed, the US has designated Wagner as, an, as a transnational criminal organization. And there are calls for the EU from the French parliament to designate Wagner as an international you know, um, terrorist organization. In some countries, when you are caught because of the legal regime to support Wagner or to promote them, you could face up to 14 years in prison. But in Ghana, we seem not to have a policy, a clear-cut policy on Wagner. And you know our constitution is quite clear about the freedom of um, association. All right? And what I also find interesting is how we embellish the charges conspiracy to overthrow on what basis so we need to really be careful surely the spread of Wagner is concerning uh, we don't want to have a sub region that will be run by mercenary groups because on countless occasions Human Rights Watch Amnesty International has cited them for gross human rights violations not too long ago there was a drone footage that showed Wagner fighters burying uh, uh, dead bodies in a shallow graves at a former French military base in Mali to make it look like it was the French who did it. So we have every reason to be concerned. Uh, that is why I think we need to go beyond just arresting people to having a, a clearly defined policy on, on, on Wagner.